Newspaper readership is in decline. In fact, print media in general is gasping for air. And to stay relevant, print media has to change. That's why USA Today, one of America's most popular news portals, decided to reinvent itself. For their 30th anniversary, they went for a full makeover, including rebranding across all of their properties, including print and, of course, digital. It's probably one of the hardest projects I've ever worked on in my life because there is hugely complex in terms of content uh, and the way content is published. So you can imagine, um, you know, we're not journalists and we don't know what the news cycle is of the day or of the month or of the week or whatever. We don't know how they plan their editorial calendars. Uh, and we had to build a website that supported every single instance of their editorial news cycle. When we worked with them, I think they were posting 300 stories an hour or something yeah. like that. So we really had to support a large amount yeah. of content. There are so many different types of content coming in with different kinds of media assets. Some would have no media assets at all. Some would come from the wire. Some they would write. Some were longer form stories. I mean, it some was, would have images. Some would have it videos. It was hugely, yeah. hugely complex and a lot of high, high, high volume. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we really saw and wanted to do is when we did the site audit initially of their current experience, we realized that their entire navigation was completely broken and it was very difficult to actually travel through the news easily because the way their structure was set up, which is typical for most big portals that are about five years old, um, you know, you would get into a category like news and then you'd have to go deeper, elections, and then you'd have to go deeper, Obama, and you would just tunnel deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into this experience until basically you, the only thing you can do is go back, 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 back. So what we really wanted to do is um, flatten the entire site completely so that the whole experience was just, you know, one, one layer, and that's the news, and then click on an article and it comes up the way that happens in apps. And that flattening of that architecture was by far the hardest thing, at least in my department. To create a, a design language that would support all this content and still make it look beautiful, that was really, really hard because I think it's, it's always easy to end up with something that is going to be mega simple, uh, but then you're losing the, the branding, you're losing the voice of the paper. And I think it was, it was very challenging to create a modular system, a grids and layout, working with typography and with pixels, to create a beautiful looking experience that would support this much content and, and, this much and, and, you've and, and not to make it look like a, it's a newspaper site. We really didn't want to mimic the newspaper in terms of design and execution online. We wanted to create an app. We wanted to create an application in the browser that would allow you to read news in the best way. And it would be the look and feel and the brand and this new voice of USA Today should be supported in design as well.